Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Scavenger today. Uh, I'm looking at this video. Uh, it was actually posted by Nick Merckx originally. I'll put a link to his video down in the description. Um, but it's uh, a conversation between Moist Critical and Sneeko. And the title of this video is Moist Critical and Sneeko are both out of their minds. But uh, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I think Sneeko is probably the only one that's making any actual sense here. We'll get into it. I'm going to break things down. And... Um, I'm going to give some of my opinions, but most of the things I, I say are going to be fact. And if you don't believe they're fact, yeah, just look it up for yourself. I'm not going to tr give too many of my opinions in this. Everybody has different opinions and different uh, belief systems and whatever. I think for the conversational topic of this, uh, it's pointless to give another opinion. We got three different opinions going on in this video. Let's go ahead and jump in, take a look. I'll pause from time to time to let you know what I know, okay? Like I said, I'm going to go into this with fact-based stuff based on what, what they're talking about. And most of them are only really have opinions here. Let's go ahead and jump into it. YouTube, what's going on? All right, man? we're going to hey, skip his intro. Right to point. Okay, All right, now this is a conversation, like I said, between Moist Critical YouTube. and Sneeko. We are going to react. Because I don't believe in the age of consent. To Sneeko and Moist Critical. Talking about a couple juicy things. Let's listen and give our feedback. Just because I don't believe in the age of consent does not mean that I want it to drop. Like, see, that's where, like, the you, internet you, can, can go apply that just because I'm sorry. saying... Well, no. No, 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 because you're saying the definition of an adult is 18. I'm saying that, that that's an arbitrary number and that makes no sense. We should encourage marriage when people reach maturity. That's ma That makes much more logical that's sense. That's even more vague, though. Like... I, off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and stop. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the age of consent is uh, for most states. So, in the U.S., where I live, I'll, I'll base it off of that... So in the United States, uh, age of consent varies from state to state. In the United States, the age of consent in 27 out of the 50 states is 16 years old, whereas most of the other states is 17, and only in seven states, the age of consent is 18. And just so we're clear, the age of consent is defined by the following. Okay, according to this definition, the age of consent uh, is the age at which a person's typically a girl's consent to sexual intercourse is valid in law. Okay. So there you go. But also you right. do it's it's because it's, it's different for everybody. When someone, when someone can legally drive, they should be able to legally marry. You did say that to me. Right. You when somebody, when drive. somebody is legally ready to drive the same thing, I think adults should drive cars. That's why I told you that. Yeah, but you 15 and 16 year olds can drive cars. You said when someone can legally drive across the world, 15 and 16 married. year olds can have sex too. I think that people but should not operate. But see, you 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 keep thinking that I'm saying this because I see. So so far, like uh, Moist Critical, he's he's not using any sort of uh, fact based evidence to. He's just using opinion. He's using an opinion to make an argument. Whereas uh, Sneeko's also using an opinion, but his opinions are, are closer to what is actually law. 15 and 16 year old uh, teenagers can get married as well. They can also marry people who are above the age of 18. And usually that's uh, with parental consent. 15 and 16 year olds, depending on state again, can get married to people over the age of 18. They can marry each other as long as there's parental consent. Just so you have that in your mind while you're watching this, okay? I'm not voicing my opinions here because I do have opinions on these things too. I'm just telling you what law is. I want the age to be lowered. That's not what I'm talking about at all. That's I, what it comes across as though. When you maybe, say maybe with the internet are... brain because people are, because people in the West, they want to have sex all the time and they have a, a different sort of mindset, right? Here in the Middle East, I'm in the Middle East right now. They want to get married. Look, man, human beings are human beings. This whole in the West, in the East, let's not get too crazy here. You know what I mean? Come on now. I mean, look. All right, we gotta we gotta talk about Nick Nick Merck's opinion too. Um, he's dead set on his way of thinking, and that's fine. You can have your opinion. You can have a set of morals or standards that you go by, but to to put those on other people or other cultures, and that's what he's saying by the East-West thing. He's like, everybody's the same, everybody should follow the same rules and whatever. No, I don't believe that either, because culturally, uh, there, there's just a lot of different cultural norms, and uh, obviously I'm giving my opinion in this. There's a lot of different cultural t settings, whatever, um, and necessities based on cultures and, and tribes and whatever. You, rules laws standards uh, and practices are going to change sometimes dramatically so him saying no the the legal age should always be 
up here, whatever. Yeah, I don't buy that. I just think uh, Nick Merckx is still set in his, his moral beliefs that he's, he's not realizing that things are going to change culturally. Look, I, if this is going to be this guy Sneeko trying to say the age of consent should be something different, I don't know, man. I mean, I don't... Marry and then have sex. So people... Also, Nick Merckx doesn't realize the, the age of consent changes from state to state. He's, he's really dead set on believing that it's 18. It's not. It's only 18 in seven states, like I said. People, just because I'm saying this does not mean automatically lower, lower. No, 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 that, that's, not, that's not the case at all. I want to ask you then, then, because uh, you're, you're insinuating that it sounds creepy and that I sound like a pedophile. What's the definition of pedophile? It's, it is an adult who is attracted to children. Yeah, uh, that is true. The that is the definition. Pedo means child and uh, file means love. So, so let's, uh, let's also put this into perspective too. Um, medically, a child is different than an adolescent, than an adult, so on and so forth. Okay, just medically. And uh, the definition or the defining factor between a child and an adolescent is uh, you, you start adolescence, not at a certain age, but at, at the sign of puberty. So that's when you start adolescence. It's not a set age. It's a defining factor or a, a point at, at which your body starts to change physically. Somebody who loves a child. Okay. Yeah. Okay. An adult who is attracted to a child. Yeah, to a child. Somebody thing. who has not reached physical maturity. Yes. That's the definition then, of child. Somebody who hasn't right. reached physical maturity. It has nothing to do with 18. The definition of the word talks about talks See, about Nico is actually defining it. Not the U.S. It. government definition that you're basing it off of. It's but not even the U.S. government definition. Place. That's Otherwise, just the definition. You get into this area. Again, you said when you can legally drive, you should be able to legally marry. Right. And we don't have to talk about sex. Do you think it's okay to be marrying a 15 or 16-year-old? Probably not, right? Like I would imagine. I already discussed not. this. It depends. So this is where the, the age of consent becomes arbitrary. I don't even believe like that. Consent is a is a is a weird thing to even speak about. But it should be, it should be the father, right? If if I want to marry a girl, I shouldn't even just get consent from her. I should get consent from her parents. She should want to say yes. Her parents should want to say yes. That's consent from the family, and then you get married. That's yeah. the Islamic way. That's and, and again, Sneeko's making sense here because if someone were to marry and they were under the age of 18, they would have to get consent from the family, from the parents, and obviously the the uh, other party involved that you're wanting to marry. That's the only yeah, way that makes sense. That. This American way, and, uh, this girl he, wants to have sex now. She no, Nick Burke's coming in with his opinion. He doesn't agree with it. Like, well, that's oh, not. Oh, she was drunk. Oh, she took it back. The law. Oh, she retracted consent. All this stuff, like, there, there's no way. Whether you agree not or not, as opinion, that we can define consent. You, you do what, what you want consent? with that. Some people say it's yes. Some people say it's like nonverbal communication. Some people say that it doesn't count because she was under the influence or she, she was intimidated. Even this is an arbitrary, is a, is a weird way to define when you're allowed to be in a relationship with somebody. You're kind of talking around it, though. Those are all very different things. Like I said, we don't have to be yeah. talking about sex. Where are we going I was right talking now? about marriage. The question was, do you think, and you said, when you are legally able to drive, you should be able to legally marry. Do you think it is okay for an adult to legally marry a 15 or 16-year-old? Okay, well, no. Now, they're getting back into their opinions. Nick is going to say his opinion. Whether you think it is okay or it isn't, fine, you can have, you can have an opinion on that, but there are laws set in place for such things oh. by this by my logic if the man is physically mature if he's went through puberty and he's phys and he's mentally ready at the age of 16 he's an adult if he wants to get married to another no. girl no. who becomes no, a I'm woman saying, no, 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 no. I'm, i just um i don't know where this is going but you know i like even 18 man you know like there's this expectation here that when you're 18 you're grown up you're an adult. Yeah. This is one thing I, I, I agree with Nick yeah, Merckx on as far as opinions go. Kids, man. A lot because because uh, when you're 18, you, you may not be mentally mature. This, this, then, um, this is taking out physical maturity, you know, taking that out of the equation. Uh, but I think most people, when they get married, for the first time are not mentally mature as a matter of fact uh, a lot of people don't like really mature and 
figure themselves out late into their 20s. So I agree with what he's saying here, but that doesn't negate the fact that uh, it's still legal. These people don't even grow up till they're 23, 24. I know that's exactly. Not Sometimes older. I, I mean, up, I didn't really I mean, feel like, like I'd grown know, up and started finding my way until I was like 27. You know I mean, no experience. They're not ready for these things that, that this guy Sneeko is saying that they're ready for, let alone marriage. And no one's ready and for sex, child. Uh, no, all these other no one's ready uh, to have kids. You kind of just you you do your marriage thing then you jump into having kids and everything and you have to learn everything and then that's when mentally you start changing after you're already in it other things man i mean this is i don't agree with it man i don't agree with it you said an adult is it okay for an adult right and i said well, we we haven't even established exactly what an adult so if somebody goes through puberty and they're physically ready they're biologically ready they're an adult so they could the two 16 year olds can be considered adults by my logic. We're not, but we're not, we're not talking about. Two what are you talking about? Talking Let's talk about adulthood. Okay, so uh, what defines an adult? Well, uh, if you look it up, if you do some of your own research, um, adulthood is really uh, the, it's been defined as the age of eighteen, um, but that really only got defined because of uh, voting rights, really, in the United States. I'm talking about in the United States, we just have this number eighteen in our heads, like uh, that's when you're an adult. Well, you're not an adult enough to um, drink alcohol or smoke cigarettes in most states now, right? You have to be 21. So the adulthood definition came from the, the age to vote, which used to be 21, then it was moved down to 18. So that's where we get that magic number 18 that everyone's talking about. And then, uh, you know, adulthood comes with other things, but you can become an adult anytime. The court the court system can grant you adulthood at the age of 15 in some states or 16 because kids can get emancipated from their parents with the court's decision and there's some things that go into that for the court to make their decision to see if this person is uh you know going to be able to take care of themselves and uh mentally sound enough or capable enough to enter into adulthood early so saying someone's an adult because they're 18 or older or whatever it's still all legalities. You can still become an adult earlier if uh, you can prove to the court that you're adult enough. So just throwing that in there too, other things to think about during this whole argument. We're talking about, we're talking about an adult. That is an adult. Arguing it. what, the what I'm saying. The definition of adult is, adult is okay. kind of fluid. Let, we'll use your age. You, someone who is 25. Is it okay for someone who is in their 20s to marry a 15 or 16 year old? When you're, and let me explain, when you're doing your arguments, it's coming from an adult. I, I've never heard you say, like, two teenagers should be able to marry. Like, I haven't heard that with these takes. I'm talking about someone in your position in the 20s. Is it okay for you to marry a 15 or 16 year old? But teenager, Whether you even, even feel it's okay or not, has nothing to do with child and adult. So there's, there's it's two uh, phases. kind of something you got to take to the court system. You your body becomes. I'm saying the difference between a child and adult is when you're physically and when you're, you're biologically, when you're mentally ready to have kids. Sex change, like Chris from Mississippi, these, say these it's, people it's, can take hormone blockers. Hard, it's a weird so conversation. Is, you're, you're, not, you're not listening. This is, this is the point. You could take hormone blockers. You could take puberty blockers, okay, when you're a child. When you're 16, you can go change your gender, but you can't get married? Why is that? Now, Sneeko, Sneeko yeah. starts making really good points here. I don't know. I feel like that's a pretty and obvious Nick question. And Nick agrees with this one. No, it's not. There are it's not. See, if, you not take, if you cut your penis off, like Chris and Mr. Beast, if you cut your penis off, that is a life-altering decision. You can't, you can't glue it back on. You can get divorced if you get married. Right. This is a commitment Great that you're points taking. points here. A child, based off of the liberal point of view that you believe in, they can have gender surgery. Well, it's critical. They can change liberal. forever. Do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting. <laughs> so, okay, he said as long as everyone's consenting. If you can't consent, like uh, we're going with uh, everything Moist Critical said so far, you can't consent to sex uh, till you're a certain age and, and some other things, but you can consent to body mutilation. <laughs> like this is where like uh, Boys completely loses me. Like his his ideas, he's so dead set on certain ideas, but then other ones he's all one hundred percent okay with, even though they're kind of uh, contradictory ideas. <laughs> okay, so as long as everyone, parents, yeah, this this, oh, 
Oh, this scene is so cooked, man. These YouTubers and these streamers and just this gaming community, man. It's just so different than what it used to be. And this world is changing. I don't like any part of this shit, man. <laughs> How could he say that sentence out loud? Irreversible yeah, right. changes to the body as a child. A ma marriage is not irreversible. <laughs> from the parents. <laughs> but as this far is. As this guy critical is concerned. What? Yeah, I'm crazy. okay with it, and you are okay with it. I am. I think that's totally a fam familiar decision. This guy. Make, yeah. This okay. guy. I don't know if he actually believes that or if he's just saying that because he doesn't want you know because he's a pussy. <laughs> so, a child can cut their penis off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever, but they can't get married. Well, that's a decision that now extends beyond the family because now you're bringing in a different party. So if you have someone that's your age coming in saying, I want to marry on. that child. Hold on. Okay. I, yep. I He's don't. saying you're bringing in a third party because you're bringing in somebody who's going to marry said person. But you're bringing in a third party when you make a decision for gender reassignment surgery. You're bringing in, you're probably bringing in more, more third parties because uh, you're, you're going to bring in a surgeon. You're going to bring in a... a a psychiatrist or, or whatever somebody to you know talk to the kid you're bringing in third parties so that like this argument that he's trying to make is null and void don't think that can happen under any circumstance so you, no. but it's still a personal decision you're still deciding it's, it's, it's but still, no, but if, no because there's take a, the other party out of the equation and this conversation gets kind of weird and just kind of dumb 16, after a, a, a point want to marry right here girl. she's beautiful she's 21 years old her family wants to do it my family wants to do it you're saying, I can't do that. We're both consenting. I'm ready to go. I'm physically mature. But I'm not allowed to marry because Moy says that's, that woman's a pedophile. But if then, the next day I leave it, I'm depressed. I want to cut my penis off. I can go right into the clinic, snip it off, and start taking HRT like Chris Tyson. That's a society that makes sense to you? It is. I believe yeah, okay. Wild. Complete, yep, <laughs> I, I think that's that wild that he would say that. No, I, I'm gonna. Uh, this is this is my opinion right here. Um, I think some people don't agree with what they're saying, but they're saying it because they want to. Uh, they don't want to. They don't want to get canceled, or they want to come across as uh, being accepting of the LGBTQ plus community or whatever. So some people say things, and I'm, I'm not sure if they actually believe it or if they're just hiding. They're hiding their their true opinions. Body, what they want to do. Uh, some things will. It's wild to say that a kid can it can have gender but reassignment are, surgery, again, but can't that will. See, that's get like, married. That's so this guy critical. Like, how could he believe one one thing like that? That's very extreme, absolutes. and then not believe the no, other thing that's this, very extreme. There are some things that are never going to change about the way that I feel. It, but that's not true. People change. People evolve. People grow. It's it's a it's a for sure. It's a for certain in life. I know I'm talking, in front, but that we, we, everybody grows. Down or up, but we grow, man. Our opinions change. Does this guy have children? Because let me tell you here, buddy. Yeah, now most critical okay? doesn't have kids. There's no fucking way. If by some miracle, I don't mean to be a little disrespectful here, but 5'3", long hair, talking like this. If by some miracle, you got, you got some Five, money three, though, long hair. If by some miracle you have a kid. This opinion of yours might change. Sneeko as well, man. The Sneeko got kids? I just don't I don't understand both of these opinions, man. Like so, I, I don't understand the trans and I don't understand. So he doesn't understand the opinions Sneeko because he doesn't that, understand like the legalities. He hasn't looked into it. He just has an opinion that he's I mean, uh, and a moral uh, sixteen uh, or fifteen frame or set that, he, that he's dead no set on. But but, and it's completely fine, you can do that. Come on, man. But to she say that it's yet. absolutely wrong just because that's kid. your moral standpoint doesn't. This stuff, man. It just seems that, so that doesn't make sense. But then I hear people like this get up there with these big followings and talk about it the way they do, and they're so sure, they're so locked in and locked on, and I'm just like, what? Like, and I don't know why he's why he made that point. They're so so sure and locked in and locked on when uh, he's he's coming from that viewpoint as well, where he's so sure of what he's saying is right. It could be. I mean. Like I said, go for it. That's your moral compass. That's the the box that you put yourself in and live it. Don't say that you're the only one that's right when obviously you're not. Of self defense, because I would say okay. killing is always bad until it's not, like in self defense. But so, there are things that would never change. For example, I'll give you one that will never change: mm -hmm. cold blooded murder. 
You kill someone in cold blood, completely innocent okay. person. Okay, uh, now they're just getting off change. on a little bit of a tangent here. Someone. Has nothing to do with the, the main conversation. Yeah, someone has just died here. A completely innocent person is now dead. So why can a child What's physically harm himself? I knew himself? that was coming. So why why could a child cut his penis off and harm himself? Again, that's entirely the decision. And this falls right in line with my beliefs that people can make their own choices for their own bodies. I mean, if I more decide, so there if I decide himself, say, it falls in line with his beliefs. Mags, and I decide to shoot you. That's so, a personal decision. Doesn't change the fact that and then Sneeko goes on an, on, a, on a weird and limb here. A personal decision. That's that, that's looking at it from a very naive but angle. You, you said you didn't make yeah, a decision yeah. for yourself. You made a decision to kill me. He and his family. Trying, he and she and that family. What I do respect about this conversation that is that they're, they're having a pretty so civil conversation. No one's getting mad about it. Anything. So that's good. No, it's not. Hold on, I gotta go back. I missed that. No, it's not. You go play a sport, you quit. Nothing changes. And she and that family is making that decision for that child's life. If that's the path they want to go down, it's like choosing a fucking sport. No, it's not. Okay. No, it's not. That's wild. You you can do what you want to do. No, it's like choosing a sport. No, it's just changing your gender is not like choosing a sport. Get out of here, dude. You're so fucking wild. Quit. Nothing changes. You cut off your dick, you can't glue it back on. This guy's a brick, man. This guy's a brick. I thought he was smarter than this, man. On God. I thought this guy was smarter than this. What is yeah, I mean, right Moist Critical comes that? across as a very intelligent person most of the this time. This is AI. Why does definitely he not in that, this man? video. And there's well, been other videos say? that I've watched, especially yeah, since Doc them. and, it's, 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 and it's, really it's, with oh, the Doc it's, stuff. It's, 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 they have the uh, highest suicide rate. And, and, and all the stuff that's been coming out lately. Okay. His his opinions have been kind of wild. But so have Nick Merckx and a whole bunch of other people. Right. You're harming yourself. They don't know. They don't. They don't have facts. They they don't look into the laws and and things around everything that's going on. But I can cut my penis off as a child. I mean, you you can you can do that. Right, but it's, it's mo fact, but it's morally it's morally wrong to kill myself, correct? Oh, here, here's here's the I other would, thing. I would say All right, so, he's yeah. talking okay. about he's making a comparison to uh, mutilating yourself, like making life altering decisions, like uh, gender reassignment surgery, but uh, uh, with suicide, right? Um, I don't know if it's for every state. But it is illegal in a lot of states to commit suicide, which sounds wild because, well, I mean, what if you kill yourself? You're not going to get charged for it. But it is illegal, and there are laws against self-harm, like suicide or attempted suicide, such and such. So there you go. More facts for you. Instead of just going off of everybody's opinions, you have facts. It is illegal to commit or attempt suicide, but it is not illegal to mutilate your body because you feel like you're the wrong gender. Okay, it's morally wrong to kill myself. Why is it not morally wrong for a for a nine? Right. If you're a doctor, then it's not, not just morally wrong. <laughs> it's illegal. But you've just changed two different things now. now what? So are we talking from the doctor or the child? You're the say say I'm the doctor. I can't I can't kill myself. Can I? Is it morally okay for me to cut off a nine year old's dick? If everyone around if that everyone around. is giving you the green light that this is what they want, mm -hmm. this is their decision. Oh mm -hmm. my God. There is yeah, no I, I'm with Nick. I'm with Sneeko on this, right? I'm with Nick and Sneeko on this. And this, this, this is crazy to me. For, for most critical, he's making the argument that uh, a 16 year old or whatever age person can't get married until they're a certain age, but they can make a decision to. Mutilate their body. Wild, wild stuff. Not have kids. There's no way in the world that okay. this guy has kids, man. All right, so the, the video's over. I gave you facts that you can look at things from a different angle with. And like I said, uh, you may not agree with what's out there, what, what the facts are. You, or you may have your moral compass or your moral, moral uh, framework. And it may not go with what's going on. And that's fine. If you have your opinions, your moral framework, and you're going to set your life to that standard, that's 100% okay. But I just, I think it's important to know facts behind things. That way you're not looking ignorant in an argument. I think every, like everybody here, uh, Moist Critical, uh, looks completely ignorant in this video. And then uh, I, I think Nick Merckx, 
is just really set on on uh his viewpoint and his moral compass or his uh his moral beliefs which is okay but it, just don't make statements that that don't match fact i mean that's 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 my take on it uh and like i said i have uh opinions and i have uh morals that i follow too that don't necessarily follow any of these laws that uh that i mentioned um I don't, I don't think any adolescents or teenagers should get married. Um, not because it's wrong by any means, but because there, there is the, uh, the mentality, the, just a lack of growth and understanding about the world. And I'm talking about the United States in America. I really think that most kids are, are ignorant as fuck. Um, but in other countries and other cultures, uh, you're forced to grow and mature a lot faster based on how you live um so in other countries it may be different but like i said in the beginning as well i'm focusing everything i'm saying based off of life in the united states because that's where i live um definitely can't imagine uh two kids getting married or an adult marrying a, a teenager legally which can happen um i, I couldn't imagine that either because uh, if I put myself in those sh those shoes, uh, I just think um, teenage girls. I can't imagine having having to deal with that every day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. I don't want to have conversations that are just that go nowhere, like fucking ignorant conversations. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's all I got. I hope I covered everything. I know I probably rambled a bit, but I've just seen a whole bunch of stuff ever since the doc stuff happened. Just a whole bunch of YouTubers putting out their wild, crazy opinions. No one's, no one's looked into the facts. No one's thought about any of that stuff. Well, there was something else I was going to bring up too. I already, I already talked about how you can be emancipated. And when you're emancipated, you, you're legally an adult in the court system, even though you're 15. Some states, uh, you can emancipate yourself at 15. Some states at 16. Um, and then you're legally an adult and you can make adult decisions. Um, and do, do adult things, you know, the only, there's only a few things that you can't do when you emancipate yourself. Um, uh, one of those is, uh, you still can't buy cigarettes if you're not, uh, 18 or 21 now, and you still can't buy alcohol. You know, the, the other crazy thing is there, here's something I wanted to mention too. Uh, at the age of 17, you can enlist in the military. So you're saying you can enlist in the military and go die for your country, but you can't, uh, you can't do some of these other things. It's wild. It's wild. Um, but that's all I got. Hopefully you got something from this. Um, like I said, most of the stuff I put out, I tried to put out fact. I did give a few opinions. Uh, I think you're all intelligent enough to know what's what. Like, I, I hope I don't have to put a little banner next to every time I, I mentioned something that was fact and mentioned something that was opinion. And you can always fact check me if you want. If uh, I said something that wasn't actually fact, just let me know. And, I, and I'm okay with learning more because that's what I like to do. I like to look into stuff and make sure I'm giving you something accurate and, and, and not just feeding you a whole bunch of bullshit. So... Again, thanks. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments if you want to uh, let me know anything. Tell me your opinions, uh, facts that maybe I missed, whatever. On either side of the argument, I don't care. I'm, I'm here for a conversation. Like I said in this video, uh, it seemed like a pretty civil conversation between two parties with uh, two uh, differing viewpoints, which is always good. But I think uh, Sneeko was more on, on the right track of this video than Voice Critical or even uh, Nick Merckx. Anyway, that's it. You guys take it easy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, scam. Hush.